Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Tabitha. I own Luxury Picnics Acadia in the Bar Harbor area of Maine. And it's been probably a month or so since I last posted a video. Um, I am not in my nursery today, in my son's nursery. I'm in my living room. I try to do better lighting because I swear whenever I want to do a YouTube video, YouTube just has to see me in my absolute friggin' worst. And every single thumbnail that has been taken of me has just been tragic. So, I mean, I'm quite sure that this one's not going to be any better. But, yeah, I mean, you, you get what you get. When you're a full-time parent, a full-time picnic planner, well, I guess part-time because full-time I work, obviously, as you guys have heard in the past, as a special needs teacher. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't get a lot of time to doll myself up. But anyway. That's not even what this is about. This is about today we're going to talk about planning for large picnics. So last week I posted a short clip from my TikTok of a picnic for 16 that I did and it came out really, really well. Um, they People were really, really happy with everything. So ultimately it ran... Well, and I'm thankful for that, but today, yeah, let's talk about it. I got my handy dandy list, you know, of course. Oh, there, there she is. She was like invisible for a second there. So, starting off, how many people uh, can you handle max? So, for your large picnic package, do you have a maximum number of like how many you can handle? Is it 10? Is it 20? Is it... 50, I mean, I'm joking, probably 50 is a little crazy, but so I didn't have a max and I kicked myself because I ended up getting a booking for a party of 22 people and I didn't have enough supplies. So even though I didn't have enough supplies, I decided anyway that I was going to take the booking and I was just going to buy more inventory. Um, and that brings me to my next thing is, do you have enough supplies? Um, so for this particular picnic party, they were a pretty high-end client. They were from out of state. They were looking for things that were pretty elegant and neutral and things of that sort. So I had to make sure that I had enough chargers in those colors that I had available. Uh, not available, but I had enough chargers that were going to match their wants. Am I going to have enough? you know, forks. I'm not going to go spend, I don't want to spend a thousand dollars on forks, but at the same time, I don't want them to be looking like their dollar store cheapo, you know, not super good quality forks. Um, nobody has to eat with pure gold here, but at the same time, you know, you pay, you get what you pay for. If you want it to look a little bit nicer, you're going to end up paying a little bit more money. Um, so that brings me to my next thing. Do you have the money to buy these extra supplies in the time frame that you have until this picnic has been booked? For me, this picnic that is for 22 people isn't until July. So I have a, a little bit of time to be able to purchase things. But on the flip side of that, Amazon Prime really doesn't feel like Prime anymore. So... Sometimes you're not guaranteed to be able to get things that you want shipped to you in the right amount of time. So you just have to be mindful of that. I ended up buying an entire shelf at our local store in Maine. It's called Runny's A Maine Adventure. That's the slogan. But yeah, I had bought a whole entire shelf of things because I just thought that it would end up, it, it would end up, this is why I need an editor, you guys, because I just can't, I have to do this in one shot, but you know, it is what it is. You get, you get what you get. I ended up buying the whole shelf, but in the end I was glad because I could find the things that I needed. And this job is known for like having things for a short amount of time and then not having things like the next week. So I had to really like get it right then and, you know, use that opportunity when I had it so that I didn't end up missing it and not having the supplies next week when I went back when I, you know, thought I could do it a different time. Um, do you have enough supplies, not just for this theme, but just for all of your themes? If you have multiple themes, you know, 
some people might only have one. I have four. I don't have enough supplies to have, you know, four different theme picnics, but I'm, I'm working on that. That's something that I've been doing is just collecting more supplies that just take over my entire house and over my entire storage unit. Uh, next is, do you have room in your car? Like, I don't know what kind of cars you guys drive, but I drive a Honda CRV. It's four seater, has a hatchback and the seats go down. They don't go into the floor, but they go down, not completely flat, but I can fit quite a bit in there when I can put the seats down. Um, though I, the tables that I purchased, because I have been asked that a lot, is did I purchase my tables or did I make them? I purchased mine. They were like small ground seating, acacia, wood, outdoor t tables. And they can fit in the back of my car pretty well. They just, I can slide them in sideways and just fit them in there. But sometimes if you don't have enough room, you might need to rent a trailer. Um, if you have a pickup truck or a friend with a pickup truck, a husband with a pickup truck, you could utilize that. Tractor Supply rents trailers for the day. I know that Home Depot and Lowe's sometimes also um, rent out trailers that you can use. Next on the list is how early do you show up? I, for the picnic of 16, I showed up an hour early because it takes me about 25 minutes to do a picnic for two. Um, it took me about an hour to do a picnic for 16. I made sure to wear my gloves, put all the stuff out, make sure that it was all quick. Oh, here comes my husband. You can say hello. He doesn't want to say hello. He's just going to stand here awkwardly and make me feel uncomfortable while I film this. Um, anyway, so I showed up an hour early and that was great because it gave me enough time to kind of set up and scout out the spot that I wanted and found a flat area to kind of figure out where things were going to go, what kind of view I wanted. And I had to make sure it wasn't going to be a far walk from my car because last time I talked about how I had to walk up and down hill. Stop. <laughs> I had to walk up and down a hill several times and it made my calves burn, but I guess it was good exercise wise, but I didn't want to do that again, especially having to carry enough supplies for 16 people. So that was just not going to happen. Um, so how do you price a party that big? Do you have like a price set for like a set number for 10, maybe for 20? I have a price so that's set for 10 and then it's like $60 for every additional person after that. For a party of 16, I just charge for two parties of eight. And that just seems to be, the, I don't know, make the most sense. And last, cleaning up. Make sure that you bring gloves and trash bags because if you don't offer trash cans and such to your customers they're not going to have anywhere to put their trash and they're just going to leave it everywhere and while cleaning up is one of those things that's part of the job you don't necessarily want to be scraping burgers into trash bags without gloves and stuff like that sometimes picnic areas even have their own trash cans available but that doesn't necessarily mean that people are going to use them not everybody was raised in a way that you know, she teaches them to like help clean up, you know, kind of like when you go to a restaurant, you kind of consolidate all your stuff or you leave it everywhere and you say, that's their problem. I'm one of those people who tries to consolidate things, but that's just me being a type A and a half. And I say A and a half because my, I'm really more of a type B, but I do like to be organized. Um, the last thing on my list was asking your friends for help. So I am a company of one and I don't have a lot of extra help. I don't have a lot of extra manpower and sometimes you need to ask your friends to like help you on big party days. Like for the party of 22, I've asked three people to help me. Um, just manpower and setting things out and just screwing all the table legs that I'm going to need on. And 
side note, that's another great thing about the table that I bought was that it comes with these two like rounded um, table legs. So that instead of having four legs, it's like two legs, one on each side. And it's easy to just screw and unscrew them. So they're easy for travel. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's it. And I can't wait to see what YouTube does to the thumbnail this week. And if you guys have any more questions, let me know. And I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And yeah, see you guys later.